Hallo, Salam, Shalom an alle, die heute da sind. Bevor ich anfange, möchte ich mich bei jedem Einzelnen von euch bedanken, dass ihr entschieden habt, heute für die Menschlichkeit einzusetzen. Entschieden habt, hier zu sein. Entschieden habt, nicht wegzuschauen. Nicht ignorant zu sein. Entschieden habt, Hand in Hand mit uns allen dazustehen. Und ich bedanke mich, ich bedanke mich speziell bei meinen jüdischen Schwestern und Brüdern, dass sie heute da sind, weil ich weiß, wie schwer es ist, heute da zu stehen für sie. Die Medien, der Staat und viele andere versuchen uns seit 75 Jahren zu entmenschlichen, uns als Terroristen darzustellen, als Dämonen, die nicht verdient haben zu leben. Ich stehe jeden Morgen auf und möchte meine Cousine schreiben. Eigentlich will ich ihr nicht schreiben, weil ich nicht weiß, ob sie antworten wird. Ich weiß nicht, ob meine Tante, meine Cousine, meine, meine Familie es morgen gibt. Ich weiß nicht, ob sie antworten werden. But Habibi, let me tell you this. We are not weak. We are not giving up. We don't need your pity. What we need is for you to stand up and take action against an apartheid state. A terror regime that has been brutally killing and calling for a genocide. against the humanity. What we need is for you to call for a cease fire now! It's day, it's day, it's day 41 of a brutal terror in Gaza. It's 41 days of fabrication and lies. It's 41 days of inhumanity. It's 41 days of crimes you can't even imagine. It's 41 days of starvation, no electricity, no water, no sleep, destruction, and absolute terror. It's 41 days of constant bombardment of hospitals, schools, and civilians in the name of self-defense. It's 41 days of murdering more than 11,000 people, women, men, children, and babies. Humans, humans like you and me, humans that deserve to live, name it, because it's actually 75 years of genocide, ethnic cleansing, and war crimes committed by the state of Israel. to exist. Palestinians don't have the right to be angry or have rage as our people are being displaced, being oppressed, being tortured for the last 75 years. You have to be a perfect victim that no one is willing to save, help or free. But when you decide to save yourself, because defending yourself is considered an act of terror, violence and hatred. You are considered to be the attacker, the barbarian, the terrorist, the Hamas member. You are the savage. You are the one that's acting too emotional. You are the one that is upset. As a Palestinian Austrian, you cannot be upset that your own people are dying. We have to make sure that we are speak for our people in a peaceful, kind, and loving manner. I have to be cute. Perfect victim that remains frail, weak, and waiting. But Habibi, what are we waiting for? What should we wait for? Wait for history to repeat itself? Wait, wait until every Palestinian is wiped away until you have the guts to say, oops, maybe I have should acted. No. I say no, thank you. My Jewish friend told me, Israel, never again means never again for everyone. And I believe it. I believe it. We are exhausted. We are exhausted. We're tired. This ongoing Nakba never stopped since 1948. It's been over 75 years. Over 75 years of ongoing. But Habibi, for my last sentence, let me break it down to you. Today, we 
We are the grandchildren of the displaced. We are the spirit of our ancestor. We are united, Jewish, Muslim, Christian, everyone, humans. And nobody, nobody is free until we are all free. You can't separate peace from freedom because no one can be at peace until they have their own freedom. So free, free, free. Liebe Menschen, wir müssen jetzt gleich losgehen. Ich erinnere bitte noch mal daran. Wir machen bitte noch kurz stehen bleiben. Wir bewegen uns über die Maria Hilfe.